Hey, I'm Vince with Pathgen again. Today I want to talk to you about an uh, issue I see at daycares all the time. Um, how do daycares clean their toys? The toys, the small plastic toys, the kids have in their mouth all the time. They put them down, another child picks it up. They put it in their mouth. It's a great way to transfer germs. I've asked a couple daycares how they do, and they've assured me that uh, one daycare stated that they put it uh, all the toys in a netting laundry bag. They soak it in a tub or a sink for a few minutes and then take it out and they let it dry. And others, which is more common, this is what I see. They take the lid off the toys and this is what I literally have seen a dozen times. At the end of the day, the teachers pick up the thing, take their products, and they're done. So I see a lot of daycares using Lysol, not a bad product, it has its uses, but Lysol can only sanitize at 30 seconds, meaning I have to spray this and I have to keep these toys wet for 30 seconds to sanitize. That's the minimum, it means it's killed some germs. If I wanted to disinfect what it can do, I have to keep these toys wet for 10 minutes. I really don't think anybody's gonna spray toys for 10 minutes or come back and respray them to ensure they're wet, let alone you're gonna be using a lot of Lysol. Um, I'm not picking on Lysol, I think it's a great brand. I think there's a lot of usage out of there. Um, but if you're gonna use a product, make sure you use it the way the manufacturer wants you to use them and to make sure you have the whole time. So the dwell time or hold time for Lysol would be 30 seconds or 10 minutes, depending on what your capabilities are. So one idea I've been trying to share with people is I've done ATP reads on a lot of toys, and a lot of them are grossly contaminated and high germs, uh, you, frequently in the thousands. Rare do I ever find toys that are in the hundreds, um, unless I just disinfected them, obviously. So how's an easy way to disinfect these toys, if not nightly, at least once a week? So I'm gonna show you a technique you may think about. So a lot of daycares have toys in these plastic bins this bin has already been drilled out. I'm going to show you how easy it was. So I just took a, a drill with an inch and a quarter bit. I already marked the holes. I don't know if you can see the black spots or not. And I'm going to just drill holes into it. If you drill the holes, you'll have some um, plastic sitting around. You can take a sponge, or steel wool, or sandpaper and just file these things down. They'll get all that plastic out. So I would just simply take the toys, move them to now my new container to store, to store toys and to clean them. I'm going to put them all right in there. I've already made a solution, whichever your daycare is using. Um, I've seen anywhere from using uh, Dawn dish soap in vinegar, a couple of cups of vinegars. I've seen some schools use just vinegar alone. I've seen others that use products that they use. The key thing is make sure that the toys are saturated or wet for the dwell time or the uh, hold time. You gotta make sure all these products have a certain time that you have to keep them wet to do the disinfectant they say they'll do. So I've got the holes already pre-made. I'm gonna submerge this. And then I'm gonna take the lid and put it on top. I'm gonna keep that in there for the set amount per the disinfectant. I even want to disrupt it every once in a while. So if you're gonna let it set for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, which is really easy to do towards the end of the day, especially on, before the weekend. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna simply just take it out and let the water drain. Now, one thing I did was take the lowest point and put a hole there, so I ensure everything got in there. Turn it every direction you can. And leave it out and let it air dry. If you do this on 
Friday by Monday, the toy should be completely dry. Or as the day goes through, just simply take the box, and rotate it, and let it dry. This is probably one of the best techniques I've seen on disinfecting toys um, that's not so time consuming. Again, I see a lot of daycares. Uh, I really don't think daycares have the manpower, man hours, or woman hours, uh, in the time to disinfect all the toys that they have in a proper amount of time. Uh, reminder, all these toys are non-porous. They don't have holes in them, so they're not going to fill up with water and cause another problem with getting moisture inside of them. Uh, none of them have paper on them. So you want to make sure toys that you use in here are plastic, they don't have batteries, they're non-porous, they're not stuffed animals or anything that could absorb the chemicals you're using for disinfectant. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, see me on our website and our YouTube page. Look forward to educating you again. Uh, next film I've got coming out is going to be about air purification, so I'm looking forward to sharing that information with you too. Thanks. I hope you liked it.